welcome to this week's El Cuento, your weekly recap about the ins and outs of the Colegio. My name is Kyle Abe Abay, your host for this week's episode. We start our episode with an activity hosted by the Colegio's HR department. Last September 29 to 30, the Human Resources Department, in coordination with the Philippine Statistics Authority, held an on-site Philippine Identification System registration at St. Thomas Hall. Faculty, staff, as well as the partner communities participated and registered for the National ID registration. The Colegio's Human Resources Department has also had numerous other activities for its employees lined up, so make sure to watch out for that email very soon. Last September 30, the Colegio's employees visited the Colegio's 5-hectare adopted planting site at Barangay San Mateo, Pamusuan, North Sugaray, Bulacan. Employee volunteers planted a total of 300 seedlings in an effort to repopulate the thinning forests. The Environmental Project of Letran is in collaboration on with the Department of Environment and Natural Resources or DNR and Brickitors Association of the Philippines Incorporated or BOP. The project na tree planting is uh, part of the partnership between Letran and uh, DNR. Uh, which uh, started uh, in the year 2019, uh, September 7, 2019. It was the first tree planting uh, na tigil lang during pandemic and ito ay medyo pwede na, no? pwede nang uh, lumabas at mag tree planting. Ito po ay nagkaroon na po tayo ng mga series of uh, tree planting or replanting uh, activities dito sa um, adopted 5 hectare no? site which is provided by the DNR. Wonderful! Talaga nga ito, sabi ko nga, sabi ni Sir Leo, ay if we want a legacy, uh, plant a tree. Pero dadagdagan ko, if we want a legacy, plant a tree in North Sagaray. Yung ginawa po natin for today is, uh, uh, kumbaga is part of the National Greening Program. Na inadapt, ito po ay adapted site po natin from the uh, five years po, ay three years po sa for Letran for the Quad Centennial Celebration. Ito po ay five uh, hectares dito po sa San Mateo, uh, Barangay San Mateo, North Sagaray, Bulacan na uh, sinimulan po na itanim po ng mga Letran volunteers way back uh, September 7, 2019. So malaki po yung maitutulong po nito sa area kasi part po siya ng Angat Ipo Watershed na which 90% po na ating water source sa Metro Manila ay dito po nagagaling. At kami po natutuwa po sa DNR na talaga matagal na po namin na ka-partner po ang Letran way back 2017. Kasama po po namin si Father uh, Lovell Javier po na sa, uh, siya po yung Vice President for Community Affairs kasama po si Director, or Director Leo na patuloy pong pinopromote po ang tree planting activity especially ito po sa mga volunteers natin from uh, Letran. At uh, ito po ay kumbaga nakakamulatan po natin ng, na meron po tayong role sa ating kalikasan sa pangangalaga po di ba? Alam ko nabanggit po ni Sir Leo sa mga part, la, mga ano natin na triplant isa lang dato sina tayo mismo mga tao na mismo kailangan natin pakalaga natin kalikasan kasi ito po yung maibibigay po natin na gift po sa ating sa mga susunod na henerasyon. So, ayun nga po, maraming salamat po sa mula po sa DNR, maraming sa maraming maraming salamat po sa sa Letran sa pagbibigay po ng oras, uh, panahon, syempre yung resources po para patuloy po sa pagbibigay at pangangalaga sa ating kalikasan at Thank you to our volunteers who made this event possible. Arriba! The Colegio's Marketing and Admission section has announced the start of applications for school year 2023 to 2024 on November 11, 2022. So to all our viewers out there, if you know someone interested in becoming a fellow lectionite like yourself, the admissions office has stated that there will still be no entrance exam for the upcoming admissions period. 
So what are you waiting for? Send them an email at admissions at letran.edu.ph for more information. Be a Lechonite who celebrates our real champion's life, heart, and dreams. See you soon, future Lechonites! Speaking of marketing and promotions, did you know that the Colegio was mentioned on the hit noontime TV show, It's Showtime? Last October 4, the host asked which college was crowned champion during the 97th NCAA season in the men's basketball division. And that shouldn't come as a mystery for us, Letra Knights. Anong kolehiyo ang nag-champion sa season 97 ng NCAA men's basketball? Ready, spell, go! Letran, Letran! It's good news once again for the Institute that never sleeps. An ICOM alumnus director, John Rogers from Batch 2018 is a Cinemalaya 19 finalist. As if it's true is a part of the full length feature category and is the latest major product concocted by the brilliant minds of the Institute of Communication. Yan ang tatak arriba. Hopefully, we get to see more of these distinctions and awards very soon. For Teacher's Day, students from every program and student organization made their thoughts known by thanking their beloved instructors. This auspicious day comes only once a day, so it shouldn't be too hard to thank the people that take the time to teach us what we know and ought to know, right? So from all of us here at El Cuento, we would like to say belated happy Teacher's Day! Arriba! Last October 6, the Coleo students, faculty, and staff came together at Santo Domingo Church to celebrate the 7th day Novena Mass. The main celebrant and homeless is our Rector and President, Reverend Father Clarence Victor C. Marquez O.P. If you can recall our previous episode, the Colegio called upon help for our brothers and sisters affected by the Typhoon Cardin. You would be glad to hear the Colegio has turned over 233 packs of goods to Sacred Heart Paris Jesus Salakot for distribution to residents of San Miguel Bulacan who were affected by the Typhoon. Once again, we wish to thank the Letran alumni donors, and sponsors for your generous help and assistance. And our final story for today is about the return of the Coleus annual religious event, the Lanaval Procession. Lechonites of yesteryears past know quite well that our devotion to Our Lady of Lanaval de Manila is a long-standing one. But what do our precious think of joining the activity this year? Especially since this is the first year that the Colegio and its devotees came back to attend and participate in the event. I'm Rhea Bianca Liberta from the program Entrepreneurship, first year. Ang so far po, excited naman po kami kung paano po magtatakbo po yung procession po kasi it's our first time po since our first year para po kami. And masaya naman po kasi nakita po namin yung mga classmates po namin ngayon. Kasi hindi naman po everyday po kami nakikita. And other students pa po, at saka yung mga faculty members po, so last po yung mga prof po namin na ngayon lang din po namin nakikita ko. Here's a quick fan fact, Lecho Knights. Did you know that the Lanaval procession is often or even always met with rainfall? It has continuously rained in all its previous processions and this year's is no exception. So for next year, make sure to pack an umbrella or perhaps even a raincoat. And that's it for this week, Lecho Knights. We hope to see you again soon. Oh, 
And by the way, if you are an ICOM student hoping to hone your skills in voiceover work and news reporting, send us an email at publicaffairs at letran.edu.ph. Who knows, you might be El Cuento's next host. Once again, I am Kyle Abay-Abay and this is El Cuento.